Hi, my name is uh, Seamus Cohan. I'm a stone cutter apprentice for the OPW. I'm currently starting my third year apprenticeship, going into phase four. Uh, these are some of my projects that I'm working on. This is a banker stone project assessment that we've all done by hand, all cut by hand. Uh, it's an assessment before we can go into phase four. Um, and the, this is a, a lettering project. This is going to be. This is all hand drawn. It's going to be carved into a plaque. It's a name plaque. It's actually my home address. So when it's finished, it's going to be going into a wall at my house. Another assessment. And then I've been working on this stone here. This came in as a boulder, nearly twice the size it is right now. The first assessment we had to do was make a level surface all by hand, no tool, hand, no power tools, level surface, and punch it down to in line with the stone. And it's gonna be a seat. So I'm gonna carve all this out by hand, no power tools, and make a seat out of it. Polish, finish. I'm gonna carve all my kids' names on the top. It's gonna sit in my garden then for a number of years probably forever. This was a class project we worked on. Each apprentice made one separate piece for it all to fit together. So, and it's a great experience. You learn a lot. It's a great trade. It's more of a craft than a trade, I think, really, like, you know. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Well worth it. Well worth the hard work. Okay, so car to carve out this detail in stone, which will be a seat, I'll be using a number of tools. One of the most important tools is this steel punch. To take out most of the waste. This is a claw chisel to bring it down. These are the hammers. I'll probably be using this hammer. It's a heavier hammer um, to get out the rough part, you know. And then we'll be switching to air tools when it gets down so much like an air claw, make it more even. And this will be the finishing chisel then. It will finish out a nice smooth surface like this. Then it will be rubbed down again with carbon on them. It's like a sandpaper, but it's a stone, you know, all by hand. And then bring up the grits of sandpaper then. Probably start with a 60, go up to an 80, you know, 100, 120, all the way up to, I probably won't, I won't go too, off it because it's going to be outside but it'll be probably finished at a 400 grit it'll be almost like glass when you see it you'll be it'll be a mirror finish actually when you look in you'll be able to see a reflection off it you know this will all stay this rough you know because that's the detail of the stone you know this will be this will stay the same so i'm going to show you exactly what i mean by carving this out by hand by using these chisels the most important tool that i have is my safety glasses they like my eyesight. So the first thing is, we're gonna start punching this back to remove the waste material, you know? Second tool, once you get that all punched out then, you switch to a lighter hammer to a claw hammer and that kind of levels it as you're going, you know, it just doesn't make as much, you know, this is a little lighter. So, it kind of brings it down to more of a, a finish, you know. Okay, from there then we switch to an air chisel. For all chisel works with the air compressor. First, we put on our hearing protection, our mask for the dust. Safety first. And then our hearing protection, our visor, our glasses, either one. The glasses are easier with the mask. Okay, just gradually take it down.
step. Okay. Okay, so when that's all finished out, I'm gonna, one way I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna put my, carve car my kids' names into the piece. And then it'll be, finish it then up to 400 grit sandpaper, be nearly a mirror finish. And it'll be going into the garden. But, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you got a lot out of it. It's a great trade, great craft to learn. And uh, have a nice day.